Well, we see that a lot of clients are actually moving from a reactive approach to a risk to a more proactive approach. So they are not waiting around for incidents to happen. They are actually thinking about what could happen before it actually happens and taking steps to prevent it. It's important because you used to measure incidents to determine how safe you were. Uh, but as organizations become more safe, they have less incidents, so you can't do that anymore. So you need to find other ways uh, to measure how safe you are, which is more proactive. CGE is a software company that takes uh, methods that are used in multiple industries for risk management and develops software around those methodologies. Uh, there is an international network that we use to distribute this software to uh, over a thousand organizations worldwide in a number of industries like oil and gas, aviation, healthcare, mining, etc. Hi, good morning. How are you? Good yeah, to see you doing well, thanks. So the uh, software is based on the so-called bowtie methodology and that uses analysis of uh, barriers to show how we manage particular hazards. Uh, and the strength of the methodology is that it goes one step beyond that and looks at how the barriers might fail and what we have in place to manage those issues as well. Now you can do it for an individual uh, organisation or you can do it as a system-wide approach uh, such as what the UK Civil Aviation Authority has done recently with their Significant 7 project. Hey, morning. Hey, Alex. Hey, good, to see you. Hi, good to see you again. Beyond is an investor-owned energy supplier and it has an objective to make energy cleaner and better wherever it operates. The company had a fragmented risk management process across its generation business. So we needed to move to a holistic view so we could understand where our risks really were, uh, what countries, what sites, etc. And we engaged with uh, CGE because we realised bow ties was that solution that we needed to try and get a holistic view and help us achieve our goals. So uh, in terms of some of these controls you'll see that they're rated as quite poor uh, and we'd like to see those improve as, as time goes by. So on the effectiveness, is that seen as an industry expectation? In the future, risk management will be less about a static picture and more about a dynamic picture. So where people now make a risk assessment and say, all right, this is our risk, this is it. Uh, in the future, you'll see that picture actually develop depending on uh, circumstances of the organization. So you'll see barriers improving and then also decaying. Uh, you'll see risk going up, going down. So from a static picture to a dynamic picture.